This tutorial shows how to import images on Autodesk Sketchbook. There are two ways to do that. The first way to do it is from your gallery page, which is where your artwork are stored. Click on the plus sign and then New from Image. Click Import from Camera if you want to take a photo straight from your camera. Click Import Photo to pick a photo from your photo album. After picking a photo, this window pops up to show you the dimensions of the image. Click on Create to import your photo, which then becomes your canvas layer. Now coming back to before we import the image. What happens when we increase the number values under Dimensions? The canvas size is enlarged, but your image size stays the same. Now, let's look at a more popular way of importing images. Say now you have a blank white canvas and you decide to import an image onto it. You click on the image button here, which brings you to your photo album. Once you've selected your image, it will bring you to this section which lets you modify your image before it's imported. You can move your two fingers on the screen to rotate and resize the photo. The first panel button from the left lets you pick another photo from your album in case you change your mind. This is the camera button which lets you import photos directly from the camera. This button lets you modify your photo by scaling. This lets you move your photo around. You can also flip your photo horizontally or vertically and also rotate your photo. Once you're satisfied with your image, click Done. Now your image is imported and notice that it's formed its own separate layer. Now I'm gonna import a second image. Similar to the first image, the second photo imported formed its own separate layer. This is useful because it enables you to go back and modify any image by clicking on its layer. And then click on the modify button. You can also move images forwards and backwards by pulling layers up and down. Just tap on the layer, hold and drag it up or down. Now I'm gonna add two more images. I hope this video has been helpful for you. Be sure to check out my other video on how to trace photos on Autodesk Sketchbook. Video link will be provided at the top. Thanks for watching.